Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Why Don't You Put That on the Internet. I know what you're thinking. It's been a while. Things have changed a little bit. Who knows what the hell's going on? There are some people asking, Rob, your hair, it looks more presentable. Then there's others who are saying, Rob, your hair. I liked it the other way. What the fuck's your problem, bro? And I'm like, eh, I do what I fucking want, right? That's what I say. And I also get tattoos and shit because I'm going through a crisis in my life right now. And this is my only way of coping with it. <laughs> anyway, so let's move on into the episode as if we didn't skip a beat, as if we haven't lost a single step. Shall we, ladies and gentlemen, and everything else in between, everyone else in between, uh, even animals, if you're watching, because some of you have your pets watch, you're like, hey, my dog loves you. No, he fucking doesn't. Your dog loves everything. Dogs, that's what they do. So uh, anyway, let's just hop right in, shall we? So I bit my lip for a second there, so that hurt. I'm probably, probably bleeding. Oh, God, tastes so good. Anyway, let's go. But first, a sponsorship. Yeah, I know. Gotta make money, guys. You know? But these guys are pretty cool. They let me fucking swear in the ad. That is fucking groundbreaking. So, let's hear it. This episode of Why Would You Put That on the Internet is sponsored by Inbox Dollars. Are you sick of selling hardcore drugs, stolen goods, your body, and taxidermized human heads in order to make a few extra bucks to keep yourself afloat? Well, I sure am especially considering the police are starting to catch on. But now I have a hope of avoiding serious prison time by earning extra cash and gift cards, all with inbox dollars. With inbox dollars, you can get paid in rewards for taking research surveys, using special shopping promotions, and even just watching TV. Wait, watching TV? Hey, Dave, what are you talking, watching TV? How you can make money with inbox dollars watching television. That's it. Are you, how does that, what? You've gotta be kidding me. Yeah, okay, fine, we'll talk about it later. Sure, okay, yeah, dick. Anyway, <laughs> inbox dollars uses the information that you provide to help brands improve their products. So when you use inbox dollars, you don't only get cool ass rewards, you also enhance the quality of life for the entire damn planet. Sick of a specific product or service? Bam. Let them know that you're not having it. Love the dickens out of something? Boom. Tell them how much it turns you on. Whatever it is, like even just watching fucking television, apparently that's fucking it, you get rewarded. I've been using it myself and I have to say, I have to, I can't complain. And I usually complain a lot, like constantly. <laughs> wow. Like I hope they have a survey for YouTube because I think we all got a few things to say to them. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, hit up my link in the description below and verify your email with inbox dollars and you'll get a $5 sign up bonus. They're literally waving five bucks in your face. If you don't take it, I just don't know what, what to call you. There's a lot of names, sister. Just use my link, reach out, take it and stop selling drugs, you freak. So one more time. Check out my link to inbox dollars, verify your email, get a $5 sign up bonus and start making money and rewards with inbox dollars. Thanks for listening. And now on to the episode. So, 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 so. Suppose the editor could have put a uh, uh, echoing effect, right, Paul? But I just did it myself to save you some time, buddy. Gonna go use inbox dollars now. See you all on the the gold street whatever the what the fuck am i even talking about yeah thanks for listening sometimes math can be rather tricky i think i've said that before in a previous episode math can be tricky people can also be stupid it's pretty much a bad combination but in this instance it's just i think stupidity it's not even math's fault this time and i fucking hate math guys i fucking hate math Math can go suck Hitler's dick in hell because I hate math, but shaboom. A kid born in 2010 is now 18 years. Let that sink in. <laughs> uh, and then people are clearly like bitching about this. Be like, 
bitch, that ain't what that ain't how it works. And then she responds with, I never thought I would need to explain a basic math, a basic math. But since we hear kid born in 2010, now is 2018. So you add the 10 to eight equals 18. Simple math. So the kid is 18 years in 2018. Simple. Yeah, very simple. Uh, very simple. Stupid. Simply stupid, but simple. Like, I fucking... Your stupidity is, like, so easy for me to understand. It's just like, hey, she... Her brain doesn't function right. And she'll even defend the fucking dumb shit coming out of her mouth. She'll defend it. She, like, it's blatantly wrong, but she'll fucking defend it with her life. That is easy to fucking understand in 2018. Which a kid born in 2010 would be 26 years old. Check your fucking facts. Stupid fuck, fake news, fuck. There's a place that kin need to be able to go, okay? And I don't mean kin like, oh, I have a family. Oh, gee, I have a family. Oh, I have a family. Good for you. Good for fucking you, okay? Meh. Family. I'm talking about other kins and shit. Those shits. That's who we're talking about. There needs to be a place for them, and there is a place for them. There's tons of places for them. One's called Tumblr, and fuck that place. But here we go anonymous sent your kin oh my god face would it be all right to ask what your kin types are i can't find a page i am yes they respond i haven't had time or spoon or spoons to add a page yet unfortunately i haven't had time or spoons okay my main kins main kins the main ones these are just the main ones not all of them our mercy from Overwatch. Jesus Christ. God, Lord help us. And Car Cat from Homestuck. Sorry, I don't fucking watch anime. I don't know what that. I don't know if I'm Car Cat, Car Cat, Car Cat, Car Cat. I don't fucking know. Secondaries. The secondary kins are Pidge from Voltron, legendary defender. Smeagol slash Gollum from Lord of the Rings. Turts are. What are Turts? Can someone who's one of these fucking weirdos who actually watches me and enjoys my shit, even though I fucking insult your people all the fucking time, someone explain what a turt is? I, don't, I have no idea. I'm too old. Turts are Mindy Park from The Martian, Luminara, Unduli from Star Wars. Sorry if I'm butchering that. I don't really like Star Wars. I know. Crucify me now. The Dolores, Dolorosa from Home, 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 my my tongue stuck. That's what an anime should be tongue stuck. It's Rob trying to talk. talk. I may have missed a turt or so. Just a turt. May have missed a turt. Maybe half a turt. Maybe a full turt. Maybe double turt. Missed a turt, probably. Because I'm so many different turts that I might have missed one. It's been known to happen. I'm considering. Considering. Okay. All right. Uh. Fuck. At least one other character. But yeah, there you are, Nani. Ha, <laughs> face. Why? Why does this have to be the world we live in? You know what the problem is? I'm just gonna explain it really quickly, okay? I'm just gonna explain it really quickly. Rob, play with your hair a lot. Yeah, I know, it's kind of the haircut. That's what kind of makes the fuck out of my way. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm gonna explain something here. Why other kin exists, why all these different types of people fucking exist, okay? I'm gonna explain it real simple terms for you. There are some people that don't belong in an oppressed group or in a group that is unique enough. Or, you know, they could have not received enough special attention when they were a kid or whatever, like, or whatever, blah, 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 blah. No one had to tell me I was God every single fucking day for me not to be fucked up. It didn't, you know, come on. Does that make any sense? I don't fucking know. I don't know. I'm drunk right now, so who the fuck cares? I'm just kidding. I'm not drunk. I never drink and do videos. I do heroin. Anyway, so as I was saying, uh, you know, these people aren't part of an oppressed group, so they need to attach to something that makes them feel unique and special and oppressed. Oppression is huge. The Olympics of oppression. We hear about it all the time, people. That's what's important. Important to feel oppressed and victimized in some way so you feel more of a part of a group where we're all in this together. We're all fighting side by side, brothers and sisters and turts, all side by side, hanging out, fighting for the cause, fighting the good fight. That's why they exist. And to that I say, would you just grow the fuck up please already? Come on now, let's 
let's get over our little shits here. It could be unique for a number of things. Maybe develop a fucking skill. There's a fucking idea. How crazy is that? How fucking boom, mind blown is that? Just develop a skill, a talent, something like that, right? You know, fucking do it. Just go out and fucking, oh, yes, I'm gonna go work on something, get a job or, or you know, that isn't, you know, fucking minimum wage somewhere because and minimum wage is fine. I've worked it plenty of times in my fucking life. But you gotta move forward at some point. You gotta move up at some point. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, girl? So anyway, that's where that's my philosophy on the whole issue. So fuck. Anyway, moving on. This is about my life. This whole thing is about my life. And if that's not clear by the end of it, I don't know. You might be a turd. I don't know, whatever the fuck that is, I still don't know. I'm bored my life, losing my life. I never had girlfriend my future. I guess we doom rest of my life. I have no soul for girl love me in my real life. I'm failure. I'm suck. My life. Beautiful, bruh. Beautiful. I'm assuming that was a fucking poem. Fucking great. This is classic shit, man. Sorry about my life. Here's like a little fucking fun fact that circulated the internet a million fucking times. And a little something extra too. The skin of all human beings is covered in stripes from head to toe. They're called Blaschko's lines. They are invisible to human eye. Not the human eye, human eye. Just a human eye. So anyway, someone comments on that saying, WTF, when I was a child, I remember seeing everybody like this, but as I grew, I noticed everyone's skin was going to normal, including mine's. Wow. That's crazy. Like as a kid, when she was innocent and, and pure and untampered with by the fucking bullshit of the world, she could see those lines. She could see people for how they truly look, even though it probably requires some ultraviolet light of some varying degree. I don't know. Maybe it is truly invisible to the naked eye no matter what, and it's impossible for this person to have actually seen this shit. But, but, they saw it. They fucking saw it, people. Next time on shit that never fucking happened. Now, th th I've said I don't like anime. There's a very specific reason why I don't like anime. And mainly, mainly, I don't really have anything against the anime itself. Aside from, well, I guess I do. I, a lot of anime just fucking too, a little too far out for me. Which is fine, you know, it's for, for plenty of other people. That's great. But, I think the fans of anime ruin anime. Personally, anytime you see fans talking about anime, I mean, usually it's harmless. So, you know, whatever. But then there's every now and then it's just fucking weird and it's just disturbing and it's unsettling because their fucking addiction to this shit is just like too much, too fucking much, a little too much. To, 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 <laughs> I, all right, let's get my head in the fucking game here. To tell your boyfriend if he says he's got beef that I'm a vegetarian and I ain't fucking scared of him. She wants to touch me, ooh woo. She wants to love me, ooh woo. She'll never leave me, ooh woo, ooh woo, oh woo. I know those are supposed to be faces or whatever, like fucking anime type fucking shit. I don't know if this is related to anime. I just assume it is because of how it's written. This seems like a fucking anime thing. It's got like, what, 625 shares. So it's got a decent amount of shares, like there's people sharing it, and it's clearly some fucking inside anime thing where people are like, oh my god, they didn't, they fucking didn't just say that line from an anime, oh my god. Who fucking gives a shit? I don't know. Anyway, next one. Now this is a classic fucking song that I fucking hate. I could rant a whole fucking video on why this song sucks ass. It's all about that bass by Megan fucking... To Megan Trainer, Trainer, right? Trainer to fucking not sing anymore. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, a little bit of a fuck up of that. I, it, it's hard to fuck that song up, but I guess they did it because I am all about tap bass, about tap bass, no trebler. Hashtag fat girls make the bottom w world go round. I. 
you had no right to butcher that second one. That second song is fine. And it's fine and it's decent and it's good. And you had no right to fuck it up. Prick. Next one. Okay, this one's gonna be a little bit of a doozy, I think. This one's gonna be a little bit of a doozy. And I don't know what to make of it. Maybe you can help me in the comments. Tell me what you fucking think. Love me a thick daddy tongue wetness who can fuck like shocking faces and and suck my fox dick that's a tiger right next to it there is a fox emoji not sure why they didn't fucking use that put it in swirl with the fucking lollipop and an ice cream cone what the fuck does put it in swirl mean jesus am i fucking old or is this shit fucked up please let me know in the comments holy crap who says kins can't be bad oh jesus the kin one uh, who says kins can't be bad d -d 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 socks smelling lips what the fuck are these emojis fuck boy mouth what <laughs> All right, I can't, I fucking can't anymore, I just can't. This is fucked up. I took a break for a while, said, hey, feels pretty good, take a break, actually didn't, felt pretty fucking awful, but I'm back now, and this is the shit you want. This is the shit you want, you want me to you want to put me through this? Like I'm some kind of fucking circus bear. Fucking fuck boy mouth, suck my fox dick. What the fuck am I reading right now? There are people out on YouTube making revolutionary content. Shit that's changing lives. And I am sitting here reading suck my fox dick with a tiger emoji, put it in swirl. What the fuck does that mean? I don't, I don't know. Nah. Next one. Now, I've never seen Suicide Squad, but it's kind of something I don't like for the same reason I don't like anime. Because it's just like one of those things that people are way too fanatical about, and it's really not that good. Like, I've heard really a lot of bad shit about it. So anyway, but uh, clearly some people take it to a new level. There, anyway. I'm unlike anything you've ever seen or heard of. Actually... Let me, let me read that in a more appropriate voice for this status here. <laughs> I'm unlike anything you've ever seen or heard of. I'm something new. I'm more fucked up in the head than the Joker, and I'm more cunning than Batman himself. I'm more indestructible, thus, period, Superman and more of an evil genius than Lex Luthor. Clearly not that much of a genius because you can't even get the then than shit fucking right, but whatever, I bet Lex could. I'm braver than Wonder Woman and more of a god than Ares. He used the right than then. See, than then, R use the right than then. I just used it right, correct, correct, right. Moving on. So piss me off and you'll find out what I'm really capable of. I'm assuming he made that noise after posting this thing. Anyway. Why do people gotta be so fucking stupid? That's my question. Why do people have to be so fucking stupid? I don't get it. You're not the Joker. You're not more fucked up in the head than the Joker. Have you blown up a fucking hospital? Have you done all the fucking crazy shit the Joker has? No, nah, nah, not for you? Then you're not. Are you really an evil genius like Lex Luthor? Really? Are you really braver than Wonder Woman? No? No? You're not? No, you're not. You are a basement dwelling wannabe douchebag. And listen, I have been in a basement before. My house has one. So that's like, I can't hate on basement dwellers. I have a basement. You know, I can't be racist against black people. I've walked by a black person before. You know, I, you know, come on, go on. Cut me some slack, bitch. The rules of consent can be a little funky. So let's go over them, just one of them, just just now. And try not to forget it. Women are allowed to revoke consent anytime they want, even if that is during sex or a day after sex or even months or years after sex, or even once she has a orgasm and he hasn't yet. It can be rape anytime the woman chooses, chooses, even if it's not forced, maybe it's just regret. Shrug. So basically, never have sex with a woman because at any point in time, she could be like, man, he really pissed me off. You know that sex we had last week? That was rape. That's what that was. I'm deciding right now. And if this person was a judge, 
they'd be like, that was right. That was fucking right. They'd have the wig on, the old wig. That was right. Rapington, raper. This, he's going to rapeville because he's a rapist. And the everyone and the, all the feminists would be like, arp, 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 like that, you know, fucking seals. Anyway, moving on. Here's a confession. Fucked up confession, but it's a confession. Don't you love confessionals? Don't you love them? I fucking love them. I dig right into them. Saucy little devil. Confession. I worked with a funeral home director once as part of an internship program, and every now and again, really cute girls would come in, like from car accidents mostly, and I fell in love with some of them. You may say I'm sick, but it's all the girls who rejected me fault. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode of Why Would You Put That on the Internet, and I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to check out Inbox Dollars, and, uh... I'm gonna go. I guess I'm back. Fuck. <laughs>